Villa Garden. The snow outside is getting worse, showing no sign of letting up. Looking out from the villa, you find yourself trapped on a lone island in a vast sea of snow. Nope, I still can't connect to the internet. Someone must be blocking the signal on the entire villa including its perimeter. Looks like we have to find the dev device first. We don't have a way to deal with the reception problem so we'll have to try something else. So what do you think we should do about Samsung? Vin is talking about the thing that happened yesterday. Villa dining room. Everyone, I know who the killer is. It is meal time and everyone is gathered in the dining room. For some reason, Chantal Pond suddenly raises her arms in the air and shouts so that all eyes are on her. It's Samsung. He killed Mr. Zhang with an insulin injection. She points at Samsung solemnly. Everyone turns to look at Samsung, who was sitting in the corner. Samsung freezes in shock, his face going white while holding the cutlery. Mr. Zeng, who had only met with Sam Zeng alone before his death, was killed by an insulin overdose shortly afterward. Sam Zeng has genetic diabetes and carries a lot of insulin injection around with him. So he is the most suspicious in all this. What's going on? How did this clue get leaked? Could it be... You turn your head and look in the other direction. In the corner, Tony keeps his head down, afraid to even look at you. It truly really was him. Bad move, I thought he would weigh the pros and cons and decide against saying anything. Chaos ensues and on the other side of the dining hall. Think about it, didn't Sam Zhang say Mr. Zhang was in possession of his family's heirloom? Sam Zhang must have killed Mr. Zhang because he wasn't willing to sell it back. Stop slandering other people, I didn't. I didn't. I think that's believable. Me too. And there's also something suspicious about our boss death. Did you kill him too? It's hard to rule out death by insulin overdose, an autopsy must be done to confirm it. I think there's more to Elijah's death than meets the eye. Maybe he killed Elijah too. We need to get Sam Zhang out of here. Lock him up and we'll hand him over to the police when they come. The guests close in on Samsung like hunters to a lone wolf that has strayed into a herd of sheep. No matter how he tries to explain, the other guests wouldn't listen. Finally, Butler Winters came out to maintain order and temporarily invites him to a separate guest room. Winters promises that staff will deliver food and water to Samsung until the police come to investigate. In fact, it isn't only Samsung who is suspicious, there are still many things about Mr. Yin that need to be cleared up. If Samsung is the killer, what is his motive for killing Mr. Yin? These are the keys to solving the case, but it is not the truth the guests want to know. Really? After so many days in a closed environment, they have no hope or way out. Right now, some people just want to comfort themselves. It does not matter whether Samsung is the ki real killer or not. What matters is this result will reassure them. The killer has been caught, so I will be safe from now on. But... Flag is an instinct. I can't understand, but I don't agree with it. 
Indeed, false truth is meaningless. If we can't find real answers, then we will be in a constant state of fear. Shirara, I'll accompany you to find the truth. Yeah, it's just a little more complicated this time, but that won't hold us back from finding out the truth. Yes, I believe in us. Comforted by their words, your heart gradually warms up. You no longer hesitate. But then... I can't take it anymore. I have to get off the mountain now. We will all die if we stay here. There is something wrong with the Feng Shui of the Zheng family. Yusheng Toy wasn't like this until they came. A faint cry comes from a woman behind the old trees that adorn the garden. Feng Shui, the Zheng family. You faintly hear a few key words. I think something's going on over there. Shall we go take a look? Yeah. Villa Garden Under an old tree, a woman stands dejected in the snow. It's Casey Chow. You remember her. She's a local resident that came with Mr. G to Yuchen Town. Casey Chow looks cautiously as you approach. What are you doing? What's going on, Miss? What's going on, Miss Chow? I'm upset. Mimi doesn't believe me, and they all think I'm spotting nons nonsense. But, but with everything that has happened, how could I be overthinking this? Maybe it was the Zeng family who provoked the snow beast, and that's why we're stuck here. The snow beast. You remember Cassie Chow mentioning the snow beast on more than one occasion. After what happened to Elijah Yin and Mavis Zeng, she said something along the lines of the snow beast sucked their souls. But what does all this have to do with the Zeng family? Miss Chow, can you elaborate? You, you believe me? Yes, I believe you. Okay then, I'll tell you everything I know. Myth of the Snow Beast Miss Chow, can you please elaborate on the so-called Snow Beast? The Snow Beast is a divine beast from ancient times. It is Lady Chingnu's mount. Lady Chingnu Lady Chingnu is a legendary goddess of snow and ice, but her mount... The original legends do not mention her mount. Yes, people in Yuchen Town used to worship Lady Chengnu every winter. Lady Chengnu rides her snow beads down to earth every winter to bring us snow. The thicker the snow in winter, the better the crops will grow in spring. But nowadays, people don't believe in the legends anymore, and many of them neglect like coming back to worship Lady Chengnu. So this custom was slowly lost to time and forgotten by everyone. But then, something bad happened to us here. Follow-ups What happened? It started during a snowstorm in Yuchen Town one winter. Some people disappeared in the forest in the mountains. At first, it was some young girls, then, but then young men too. And then old people started to disappear before from all walks of life slowly disappeared. And it didn't just happen in the winter, it started happening in summer during rainstorms too. <sighs> All because people in our town stopped worshipping Lady Chungno. After Lady Chungno left, the snow beast without its master has been left to wander the mountain forest. It has no consecrated food. In order to not starve to death, it has been forced to attack passersby, eating the souls of people. That's impossible. Maybe it was just people having accidents? No, it's true. Over the past few decades, people have gone missing. Look, there were two murder cases at the mountain lodge. You all blame those cases on simple murder, but I think it's more likely that the snow beast has taken their souls away. 
relationship with the Zhang family. By the way, Miss Chow, I just heard you mentioning the Zhang family. You said it was the Zhang family that attracted the snow bees, right? Yes, I forgot to add that, that the Zhang family came to our town f about 50 years ago. Since then, people have been disappearing one after another. The older generations believe that the Zhang family had offended the mountain gods by remodeling the old house and that's why the snow beast was released. Unfortunately, Mr. G does not believe us. He always finds excuses for the Zhang family. About 50 years ago, has someone been missing for the past 50 years? Yes, people have been gone missing every year since I can remember. Of course, I heard the previous stories before I was born from my father. But according to my observations, I think what he said is true. For all these years, people have been going missing in town. That's really strange. What else do you want to know? Well, that's all for now, Miss Chow. Your affirmation tells us more about this, this situation. Oh, you're welcome. I just needed someone to talk to and blow off some steam. Not to mention, I feel a lot better after talking to you. You don't need to persuade me. I know none of us can leave the mountain. It can't be helped. I will take care of myself. Uh, she ended up comforting herself. According to Miss Chow, people frequently go missing in Yishan Town. Does this have anything to do with the Zhang family? Yishan Town is close to the north and the climate here is quite peculiar. There's a there are a blizzard in the winter and heavy rain in the summer. It's true that people often encounter dangers when walking on mountain roads. But according to her, a dozen of people go missing every year, which is unusual. However, without access to the internet, we have no way of verifying her story. Right. Let us assume that Cassie Chow is right about all this. A lot of people go missing every year in Mission Town. What do you all make of it? I suspect that it might not be an accident. Every time there is a missing person case, people react by blaming natural disasters or the legendary snow bees. And in doing so, they may have overlooked the real cause of the case. Yuchen Town's climate means blizzard in the winter, but the people only started going missing after the Zhang family moved in. The so-called snow bees aside, it is worth investigating. Yes, it's indeed strange. What seems to have nothing to do with the Zhang family is strangely connect connected. Is it really just a coincidence? Just as you're about to say something, you catch a glimpse of a shadow passing by. Huh? What is it? I saw a person running through the backyard. I think it was Tony. Come on, let's go after him. Villa Garden. Stop right there. You all intercept Tony just as he is about to enter the backyard. Everyone, let's talk it out. What are you doing here? Nothing, just looking around. Tony rubs his hand together as a show of weakness and his willingness to talk. Considering what's here, your looking around isn't as simple as you claim it, it is. We both know what is in the room ahead of us, right? Then the spare room in the backyard is being used as a temporary room to store the body. The guests avoid it at all costs. Tony came alone with the sole purpose of doing something here. What's wrong? What big story are you after this time? I was really just looking around. 
So you were going to take a picture. The camera on your phone is still on. Startled Tony looks down and locks his screen. Sorry, we're not letting you go there. Otherwise, you'll go leaking information again. And then the killer will know everything before we figure things out. Tony's face stiffens again at the mention of what happened in the hall that day. He tries to talk his way out again. Sorry, before I my lips were loose. Who knows how it got, they got out and how it got so widely known. <sighs> Who exactly did you tell about what we found? Uh, that day in the dining hall, I saw Butler Winters in a bad mood and I was just trying to comfort him. And then somehow... <sighs> I blame my loose lips. There were many people in the dining hall that might have overheard me. I regretted it immediately after. It's all my fault. So you're not here to make amends and help us with our investigation? Or did you just want to take some more photos to enrich your big story? Maybe Marius has too much experience dealing with reporters like Tony. Tony is barely able to com come up with a retort. Instead, he scratches his head embarrassed for having having been sent through. I have a piece of secret information that no one knows about. How about I tell you all about it to make up for what I did? Marius looks back at you and you nod to indicate that you want to know what he has to say. What information do you have? The Zeng family is a family of collectors. It's rare for their, their family to meet people and their business is done in secret. I was curious why the Zeng family would suddenly be interested in inviting so many people to the so-called auction. Get to the point. Haven't you noticed most of the guests here are connected with each other? Chantal Pan and La Jayin had business dealings with the Zeng family. Sam Zeng and Mr. Ji had many years of friendship with the family. Oh, and Dr. Lee was also a frequent visitor of the Zeng family. Dr. Lee? Yes, Dr. Lee visits the Blizzard Villa several times a month. Don't you all find that strange? Hmm. You remember the day of Mavi Zeng's accident when the young nurse voices her concerns about Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee and Mavi Zeng, maybe there's a secret connection there? Everyone looks at each other, thinking about the connection between Tony's message and the killing. Well, this juicy piece of information makes up for what I did, right? That's all I've got, so I'll take my leave now. Tony slips away like a puff of smoke while all of you are unaware. As if he thought you would catch him if he was even one second slower. Wait! He is already gone. That guy. Leave him, for, leave him be for now. I think we need to discuss what he told us. Yeah, I think so too. I didn't expect Dr. Lee to be connected with the Zeng family. Most of the most of the other people had business interests with the Zeng family. What about Dr. Lee? Is there a possibility that he was hired as a family doctor and needed to provide medical service on a regular basis? I do not think that is likely. As the chief physician of Yuchen Town Central Hospital, he is probably swamp at work. In my opinion, he probably does not have the spare time to work as a family doctor with his normal workload. That is to say, Dr. Lee likely visits visit Villa regularly every month for another reason. 
I have an idea of what that reason may be. Do you remember the pathology reports we found? Those reports cannot be completed without the guidance of a professional doctor. You mean it's possible that Dr. Lee helped? A terrible conjecture begins to surface, but just then a cry for help breaks your train of thought. Brother, where did you go? Don't scare me! What happened? Let's go see what happened. Have any, any of you seen my brother? Sam Zhang is gone? Calm down, he shouldn't have left the villa. The blizzard has only gotten worse and the landscape has been overtaken by snow. No one would choose to forcibly leave the mountain in this weather condition. But I've looked everywhere, no one has seen him. After what happened earlier, those people wouldn't talk to us or even let my brother eat in the dining hall. My brother is in poor health and he lost his insulin pen. There are many things that he can't eat. I just brought him something to eat, but he wasn't in his room. I looked around for a, li a long time but couldn't find him. I asked them if they had seen my brother. They laughed and said that he must be on the run. That's going overboard. Ashley Zhang complains about the other guests. From her words, you can sense her helplessness and hesitation. What was supposed to be an interesting auction has turned into a disaster. Don't worry, we'll help you look for him. Really? Do you have any idea where your brother might be? I don't know, he didn't say anything either. My brother has always been like this, he doesn't want me to worry, so he doesn't tell me about many things. When a man is wrong, he will try to prove himself innocent. He might have gone to investigate something by himself. Is there something about the Zhang family that Sam Zhang would want to confirm himself? I don't know if he's innocent, but you mentioned something he cared about. Is it that false? The family heirloom that Sam Zhang mentioned? Did you look in my vision study? No, I was afraid to go there because of what happened. Let's go to the study first. We can ask the butler to help us if we still can't find him. Yeah, I agree. We lost study. What can this be? We we were too late. I'm sorry, Ashley. Brother! The girl's desperate cries ring out in the cold study, alerting others of her endless grievance and pain. Sam Zhang is dead, collapsed in front of the security door that falls out of place. There was a struggle, judging by how his body looks. The invisible pain is terrifying. Oh my god, what, what's going on here? The butler, who has already been through too much, cries out almost nervously at the sound of trouble. His cries draw the other guests to the room. Oh no, yikes, this is the sweet one. Will we all die here? Who, who did it? I, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. 
Sam Zhang's death is like a bomb detonating the already crumbling mountain. No longer a matter of soothing people's emotions, you can only try to calm everyone and find a solution as soon as possible. Everyone, please calm down until we get to the bottom of these unwarranted suspicions will only allow the killer to win. What's the point in keeping calm? Exactly, who can save us? Who can, who can catch the killer? Can you guys do it? I, I can. No, we can. Yeah, miss, don't just ignore our existence. There is no truth in this world that cannot be uncovered. It is up to us to find them. I promise you all, we will find the truth. Somehow, they all stand beside you, each voice like a solid shield wrapped tightly around you. Antwerk is a collective and indestru indestructible team. Yes, we can do it. Your words persuade the guests to leave the study to wait for the results. Even Ashley Zhang, accompanied by the butler, temporarily leaves the room. At this moment, you and the team are the only ones in the room except for Dr. Lee who has stayed behind to exam examine Sam Zhang. Dr. Lee, sorry for the trouble again. Dr. Lee? Oh, yes. Compared to the previous two times, Dr. Lee appears to be more flustered. He seems so afraid of looking at Sam Zhang's body directly as if he is running away from something. It isn't until Vin's reminder that he comes to his senses and starts the examination. Can what Tony said be true? Dr. Lee has a connection with the Zhang family. So he knew Sam Zhang who also had a connection with the Zhang family. No, if Sam Zhang was just an acquaintance, then why was his expression so unnatural? As you pointed the question, Vin's examination results come out. It's much faster than the previous examinations. Sam Zhang's face was pale and his lips were blue. I conclude that he probably died from oxygen dep deprivation. Oxygen deprivation? I remember Ashley Zhang said her brother had asthma. Was it some sort of acute asthma? It is possible, but there has to be a trigger for an acute asthma attack. But we still don't know what triggered his asthma. Sen Zhang's recently mood swings may have caused him to forget to take his medicine, his medication. Or was he exposed to something that triggered his asthma? These conjectures are all valid, but under the current conditions, we cannot do any further examinations. So there is no way of verifying those conjectures. Well, that means we can only speculate from these conjectures. Speculation. Samsung was in the study when the accident happened. That means the study is a key location. Why don't we take a closer look at the study? Maybe we'll find something useful. Yes, I will check the examination results with Dr. Lee while you guys investigate. If you find anything, wait for me to return before discussing it. Alright. I have no objections. Okay, let's start investigating. This is... Mr. Wing, what is it? Take a look at this. With gloves on, Artem bends down to pick up a long-handled metal piece, metal object on the floor and shows it to you. A pair of pliers, no, a screwdriver. If I'm correct, it's some sort of a special lock picker. Someone was trying to use it to pry open something in the study. 
could it? It belonged to Senzang. He was the only one in the study. What was Senzang trying to pry open in the study? Maybe he thought that his family heirloom was hidden somewhere in the study? So he brought a lot of tools to try to find it? Yes, that might be a possibility. Look, do you see a mark on the door? Let me see. Luke walks over to your side, carefully inspecting the security door. Yeah, there seems to be a fingerprint here. I love it. You even brought a fingerprint kit? Of course, it's a must-have for a detective. Got it. Next, we just have to find the owner of this fingerprint. Wait, is that powder on the handle and keyhole of the security door? Huh? Not just the keyhole, but the gap between the security door as well. Shira, stand back a little. This powder looks suspicious. Let me test the composition with my device first. Okay, look, be careful. Don't worry. Luke takes out a small portable device from his pocket, then he takes a small amount of powder. After a few minutes, the device flashes green. The results are out. What is it? It's pollen, probably from seed cedar. Cedar plants produce a lot of pollen when they bloom in the spring, which can trigger allergic reactions. But it's winter now, and why is there pollen in the gaps on the handles of the door? It can only mean one thing, someone deliberately put pollen in the crevices, waiting for someone to touch it. If someone with an allergy comes in close contact with it, it can easily trigger a reaction. That means Samsung was... It looks like it was premeditated. premeditated. Uh, the bottle on the ground. This is an inhaler for people with asthma. I've seen it used before. Samsung? I think so. People with asthma usually carry an inhaler with them. Yeah, but it seems to be broken. There's a nick at the mouth of, of the bottle. With how clean the nick is, it was probably tampered with. Someone tampered with Samsung's inhaler. Yes, it was his last chance to survive when he had an acute asthma attack. Villa study. We got a match. The fingerprint on the security door in the study is confirmed to belong to Zemzang. You collect all the clues, then compare the lifted finger fingerprints with Zemzang's after Vin comes out back. The fingerprint on the security door belongs to Zemzang. Then it all makes sense. Let's sort out our clues. A short while back, Ashley Zhang found her brother Sam missing. Later, Sam Zhang's body was found in the study. Dr. Richter's examination concluded that he may have suffocated. We found allergy inducing cedar pollen on the study's security door as well as Sam Zhang's own fingerprint. That means Samsung must have come in close contact with the security door and inhaled the pollen as a result. Yes, because of his prior medical conditions, the small amount of pollen was enough to trigger an acute asthma attack. Additionally, the killer tampered with Samsung's inhaler, making it impossible for him to use it and use it in an emergency. After suffering from an asthma attack without an inhaler, 
he the killer knew that Samsung would touch the security door and made sure that he had no way out. He was doomed the moment he stepped into the study. So the question arises, why did Samsung come to the study? Was it because of what's behind the security door? I remember you said it was a similar, similar to a security door of a bank vault. So there must be a lot of valuable items behind it. He might have speculated that his family heirloom was stored behind it, so he wanted to take a look. I don't think it was speculation. I think someone might have told him that was that what he wanted was behind the door. Otherwise, why was he in such a hurry to act when he had not done anything in a few days prior? Perhaps he didn't know a few days ago, and today he got some information that he found believable. Unfortunately, Samsung fell for it. The killer left some bit in the in the trap that it took a man's life. Elijah Yin, Mavis Zhang, Samsung. People connected to the Zhang family are getting killed off one by one. No one is safe here. They are like free in an enclosure waiting to be picked off by the killer. This is the very epitome of an encircling and killing. Now what? We have all the questions. Where do we start? Yeah, I think we should investigate the secret of the mountain first before we can solve the riddle. The Zeng family has too many secrets such as the pathological reports we found and the abnormal transaction records. I don't think we can easily solve the case until we know what's up with the Zeng family. I agree, at the very least, we need to know what's behind this security door and why Samsung was so concerned about it. It seems necessary to see what's behind this door. After deciding on a course of action, you contact Butler Winters to ask if there is a way to open the security door. But when Winters had heard of your plans to open the door, he shakes his head. Uh, open the door? No, that won't do. It doesn't matter even if I agreed. Mr. Zeng never let us touch the security door. Only the master has the key. We can't open it. Well, it's hard to imagine, op imagine opening this security door without a key. Usually, a door like this has a special safety device. Triggering the safety device is likely to make it harder to open. Butler Winters, with your permission, I can try to open the door. Huh? You? I've learned a little about picking locks. I could give it a shot. But... Butler Winters, we have no intention of prying into the villa's available items. But people keep dying at the villa. As an attorney, I have the responsibility to investigate the truth as soon as possible. Winters hesitates for a long time before nodding reluctantly. Feel free to give it a shot then. Our master died unjustly. If we can find the killer, maybe, then maybe he can rest in peace. After Winters is barely convinced, it's all up to look now. He takes a lot of unfamiliar tools from his small bag, lining them up on the floor. Look. Don't worry, I can do it. Yeah. Whenever Luke makes a promise, it is worth believing in him. Seeing how calm he looks, the uneasiness in your heart also calms down. Luke's movements are swift. He takes a stethoscope-like instrument and places it on the security door. Then he turns the lock plate on the security door from time to time. It's open.
already? Yeah, I got lucky this time while trying to figure out the structure of the lock. That's why I was able to open it so easily. Luke stands, stands up from, stands up after putting away his tools. Then he holds the door handle and rotates it. A dull sound originates from the metal security door before it slowly opens to reveal a deep, narrow gap. You're incredible. It seems luck is part of strength. We don't know what's inside, so let's all be careful. Shirara, be careful. Stay close to me. I'll be careful. Miss, don't worry. I'll shield you from the front. Yeah, I know. Let's go inside. Your team is good at everything except some things happen once in a while that you don't know quite how to deal with. Like this moment right now. Collection Room With Butler Winter's permission, you all walk into the room hidden behind the security drawer of the study. This is the collection room. Hidden behind the security door is a modern collection room, very much different from the rest of the villa. Instead of the antique decorations in the hall, there is a dark and strange atmosphere surrounding it. We were right, this is where the Zeng family houses their collection. If the auction proceeded as usual, I'm sure they would have all been sold. Look at the stuff piled up on the shelf over there. That isn't part of the collection, right? Looking in the direction of where Luke is pointing, there are things piled on a wooden cabinet in the north part of the room. Some are neatly arranged while others are thrown together haphazardly. These items are clearly not part of the collection but rather a necessary clutter in the people's life. Let's go take a look. Shirara, how about we get everyone inside to investigate the collection? Hmm? The people waiting in the hall are anxious to get in. If we tell people that there is something strange in the collection room, I wonder how the guilty would react. I'm guessing they would be scared or upset. Yes, we can use this opportunity to de determine our next step. I like Vince's plan. Didn't Tony see there was something up with Dr. Lee? Let's try him first. It is rare for you to see that. Don't misunderstand. I'm not complimenting you. I just acknowledge your plan. These two, a few more words in the conversation and the tension escalates. You quickly interrupt their conversation by changing the subject. Alright, let's notify everyone to come in so we can observe them. After confirming the plan, Artem invites the guests into the collection room. As everyone enters the collection room in twos and trees, your investigation formally starts. There's another secret security door. It looks like the same security door as before. Will it open the same way? What could be hidden behind this door? Forget it. I won't get an answer even if I try. I need to wait to discuss this with the others. Look, what is it? 
Look at this, brooches, handkerchiefs and watches. These things don't have any collection value. I don't understand, why would the Zeng's family keep these things as part of their collection? Brooches, handkerchiefs and watches, there is a huge question mark in your head. Have you noticed that these personal effects don't belong to the same person? The differences are obvious. Some items are even from different eras and it's unlikely that they belong to the same person. Yeah. Looking at these objects, bad associations arise in your mind. Marius, what's wrong? He stands by a collection box, silent and gloomy. Marius? He only comes to his senses after you go over and tap him on the shoulder. Nothing, I just... I found something. Hey, this looks like the metal ornament we found earlier. Then she noticed him holding something in his hand. It is similar in shape to the metal twig you found on the carpet under Mavizong's desk. The material looks ancient with metal branches decorated with leaves and fruit like it was imitating a plant. It's a brooch, a holy brooch. Marius falls silent then gently turns over his hand to show it to you. On the back of the metal brooch is a small pill. A holy branch, could it be? Yeah, it's hers. This is the first brooch that Peyton ever made. For the holy brooch to appear in the villa, it proved that Mary's speculation wasn't groundless. Something must have happened here, something that has to do with the Peyton's old lover, Holly. But what really happened? You don't dare to guess. You don't want to guess. This red animal was. I think I have seen it before. Hmm? I remember now. I saw it at an auction in Swar. I did not think it was the Zeng family who bought it. Wow, the collection even has pieces from abroad. Every piece in the Zeng family's collection looks priceless. How much would everything here be worth? Forget it, this question is beyond the scope of my consideration. As expected, there's a lot of junk. Backpack, notebooks and clues. There is a lot of writing in this notebook. The handwriting indicates it belongs to a child. Travel notes. I'm happy I got to go much I got to go to mushroom picking with Mimi today. It looks like a child's diary for practicing handwriting. Huh? Wait, Mimi? Did you call me? A young girl replies to you. Somehow the local Yujin town girl, Mimi, comes up to you. Wait, is this? Mimi grabs the notebook in your hands. She quickly flips through the pages, tears welling up in her eyes. What's wrong? You... It's... It's my... Slow down. Slow down. This belonged to my neighbor. It is diary. And that backpack, yeah, the one at the bottom of the shelf. That's also his backpack. I know it is. Can you elaborate for us? When I was young, there was a big brother in the neighborhood who was very kind to me. Then one day, he suddenly disappeared. I couldn't find him anyway. 
they told me that he had gone abroad to study. I was sad for a long time. But why are these things here? What is going on? The personal belongings of the someone who was supposed to have gone abroad have ended up here in the Zong family's, Zong family's collection. Everything about this is hard. There is something up with the Zong family. That is your unified understanding after investigating the collection room. You've all found too many things that weren't part of the collection. They were all placed on the shelves haphazardly, becoming part of the collection room. So where are the people that these items once belonged to? What happened here is far worse than we thought. What's worse is that Mavis Zeng is already dead. We may never fully understand the truth of the Zeng family. Why do people go missing every year in Yuchen Town? Where did the owners of these items go? Only someone connected with the Zeng family would know. Someone connected with the Zeng family. That would be... After what Vin said, you look at Dr. Lee and Mr. G who both have stiff expression in the crowd. It seems like both of them have finally realized that their secrets may be impossible to hide. Let's go, it's time for them to spill the beans. Collection Room the things in the collection are now displayed for everyone to see. When you asked Dr. Lee and Mr. G about the Zeng family, they chose to avoid the question. I, I don't know. I don't have any connections to the Zeng family. I came to the auction out of curiosity. I knew Nolan well, but we were only friends. I don't know anything about his business dealings. I hope you too will reconsider answering our questions. Atom's steady voice acts as a deterrent, making them fall silent. You continue where Atom left off. The mountain has been completely closed off due to the snow. I'm sure you are aware that it would be impossible for the killer to enter the villa from the outside. It is clear that the killer is among us. We don't want to go public with the information because we don't want to alert the killer to our progress. But this is far beyond our imag imagination. We need more clues before we can fully understand the killer's intentions. But who is the killer? Do you have any idea? Who is it? Are we all in danger? I, I don't want to end up like our boss dying just like that. For a moment, the anxious voices of guests in the collection room rises one after another. Everyone, please remain calm. Various glances at Artem. Artem nods, then walks to the center of the room. Based on what we know, we have a few theories. First, the killer is very familiar with the villa, capable of executing his murder plan, plan in a very short amount of time. Second, the killer had a conflict with the Zeng family, and his motive may be revenge or to remove some obstacle. Wait, I agree with the first point. What evidence do you have for the second point? The first victim, Mr. Yin, was the owner of a logistic company that had done business with the Zeng family. The second victim was the current master of the villa, Mavis Zeng. The third victim, Sam Zeng, admitted to having years of friendship with the Zeng family. By this point, you should all be aware that the victims have 
something in common. They are all connected to the Zong family. That makes sense. Oh crap, are these revenge killings? Oh no, what crimes did the Zong family commit? Why are we being dragged into this? Listening to the guest comments, Dr. Lee and Mr. G's expression grows worse as they try to bite, bite their words back. You jump at the chance to say something. Based on the theories, we believe that the killer will strike again. Dr. Lee, Mr. G, you two should really reconsider. I mean, if the killer's next target is you, then... These words make both of them, both of their faces twist even further. Sure enough, it's not that they weren't afraid, it's just that they were keeping it bottled up. In the face of three murders, the line of defense in their hearts finally breaks. Well, I... I knew that I couldn't hide it forever. Mr. G takes a deep sigh and staggers into the middle of the circle of guests. When Nolan came to Yuchen Town 50 years ago, I took care of his business. He was very generous, sometimes bringing nice gifts just to say hello. Since he beat, I certainly did him the honor of providing him with as much convenience as possible. It wasn't until I got to know him better that I realized something was wrong with his business. Some of that was handled by the Zhang family, who were close with the Zhang family. They were Sam Zhang's ancestors. How could that be? Our family wouldn't do something like this. Ashley Zhang can't help but exclaim her objection. You and your brother are too young to know about this. But your ancestors, why do you think the antique vase was in the Zeng family collection? It was collateral. Mr. G spares her a glance and shakes his head. Nolan would take people to other places, saying it was to introduce them to foreign countries for business. But in actual fact, we don't know where he sent the, those people. Nolan had his own logistic company that transport them under the guise of moving precious antiques. Logistic company, something flashes through your mind and you immediately blurt it out. Elijah Yin's logistic company? Yes, Elijah Yin's family and Dr. Lee's family were the same. Their ancestors had a connection to Nolan. The Yin family ran the underground business for the Zeng family. The company was handed over to Elijah Yin who then took over the business. Then, you can't help but look at Chantal Pan who is standing at the back of the crowd looking scared. I, I'm not engaged in any shady transactions. Maybe Zen gave us genuine antics to transport. We have all the records. We aren't afraid of a police investigation. Chantal Pan doesn't know anything about the Zeng family, but Elijah Yin did. So when Elijah Yin discovered that Chantal Pan's company was stealing his business, their confrontation was inevitable. This confrontation became a shield for the killer. What about Mavis Zeng? Did he inherit the family business as Nolong Zeng's ad adopted son? Yes, Mavis Zeng helped the family business for many years. Of course, his hands were dirty. I see. Elijah Yin, Mavis Zeng, and Sam Zeng were all connected to Nolong Zeng's illegal transactions. Nolan Zeng is gone, but his supply chain remains. The killer is clearly going after people connected to the shady transactions. I know some bullet money can't be accepted, but I accepted it anyway, knowing that I would be punished one day. But 
Greed is a terrible thing. It was hard to stop, right? Mr. G closes his eyes and falls silent, not denying what Vin said. His words have verified the source of the personal belongings. What about you, Dr. Lee? What's your role in all this? I, I really don't know. I come from a family of doctors. My grandfather had business dealings with Mr. Nolangsung. What do you mean by business dealings? Nolangsung had him do physical examinations for some people and issue pathological reports. Of course, my grandfather might have helped with some underground surgeries. A cheer rises from your heart and you can't help but shudder. It is self-evident what kind of underground surgeries might have occurred. After my grandfather passes away, my father took over for a few years, but when it came to me, I didn't take over. So I wasn't lying when I said I don't know. Then, what's your motive for coming here? I I just wanted to say hello to Mr. Mavis Zeng. I heard the Zengs had their ways of dealing with the pe- with people, so I wanted to maintain their, that connection. I see. It's not that you don't know about the transactions. You just aren't qualified to know much more. Marys rarely responds to others with a sharp tone. You can understand how he feels about what Dr. Lee said. It's hard to keep your emotions in check. Dr. Lee's lips quiver as if to explain something, but before he could speak, Mary changes the subject. Mr. G, I have another question. Do you know Holly? 50 years ago, a female college student named Holly went missing after returning home. Do you remember her? Of course, I remember. 50 years ago, she was the first college student in our town to enter a university in Stalis. She had an unfortunate life, so what do you mean? Holly had an unfortunate life. Her parents died in an accident when she was young. It was only her and her brother. They both lived in a distant relative's home. The two children depended on each other, but didn't fare very well. I took pity on her and helped her a few times. Later, she was able to obtain a scholarship to Stellis University. At that time, I was happy for her. It was over the winter holiday that she came, to, she came back to spend the spring festival with her brother. At that time, her brother, Wow, was still young. One day, he insisted on picking pine cones on the mountains and Nolan had a shipment that was about to head out, which she happened to witness. You... There was no choice. Nolan could only send her away. I don't know where Holly was sent, but Nolan said that he wouldn't leave a trace. You didn't even ask? Wasn't she a child that you have and protected? Mary grits his teeth and clenches his hand into fists. This is how he found out about the person important to someone close to him. Bystanders cannot understand this kind of complex emotion. Marius. Don't put the blame on me. I felt terrible too, but there was nothing I could do. Nolan had me in the palm of his hand. I couldn't risk everything for Holly. Mr. G tried to explain himself as if to make up for his years of silence. Yes, you mentioned Holly had a brother. Where did his brother go? Was he taken with Holly? No, her brother went miss- missing. Her brother, while was only 10 years old at that time, he was small and agile. Nolan's men were unable to catch him. 
But where would he go by himself in the vast mountain of snow? Later, Nolan sent quite a lot of people to search the mountain. I imagine he fell into in a dish somewhere. We looked for a long time but couldn't find him. The collection room is filled with silence upon hearing the tragic story. The faces of the guests are bitter. No one sees anything to break the awkward silence until... Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Shirara, is there anything else you want to ask? I... Let's go someplace quiet and sort out the clues. You can see that everyone is in a bad mood, so you choose the safest way to end this heavy conversation. Villa Garden Flakes of snow continue to fall between the mountains, turning into silvery upon contact with the ground. The quiet villa garden is shrouded in silvery white, like the purest existence in the world. And how much silent dust is hidden underneath the snow? Okay, where are we going to sort out the clues? Is Why isn't anyone talking? If you guys want to talk, then I'll start. By this time, Maris has returned to his usual demeanor. The bitterness has fit into a layer of mist in his eyes. Yeah, go ahead. According to recent testimony, the Zong family was engaged in shady transactions aside from dealing in antiques. Taking things, taking this into consideration, the Zong family had caused numerous tragedies over the years. Seeds of hatred often sprout from tragedy. That brings us to the other lead we found. Marius takes out the holy brooch from the collection room and the metal ornament from the study. This brooch was given to Holly by Peyton, I'm sure of it. But who does this metal ornament belong to? The craft is crude, but it looks new. It must have been made recently. Did someone copy the holy brooch to make this metal ornament? Someone made it and left it in Mavisdale's study. What does it mean? It might be a mark of revenge. Could it be Wiles? That child who disappeared in the mountains 50 years ago, is it even possible? We can't rule out the possibility. According to Mr. G's testimony, Wiles disappeared into the mountains and nobody found him. So no one knows whether he is alive or dead. Suppose the killer is Wild, who came to avenge his sister, but where is he? 50 years ago, a 10 year old would be 60 by now. I don't think there's, there are any guests in, the, in that age range. No, there is one. Professor Young? That's true, Professor Young is the closest in terms of age. But he usually studies book and peer periodicals in his room. He only occasionally talks to others in the living room. On the surface, he is a self-possessed scholar. It's hard to classify him as a suspect unless brought up deliberately. There is no way to tell based on age alone. Moreover, he does not fit the theory that the killer is familiar with the blizzard, blizzard villa. Yes, I don't think we should jump into conclusions without more evidence. I understand, we can only put him on the suspect list for now. There is someone else who should be included in our investigation. Someone familiar with the villa and connected with the Zeng family. Butler Winters? 
Yes, Butler Winters has been helpful in calming the guests at the villa. He has done a great job as the butler. But to say that he had something to do with this case? Well, I can't be sure, but we should look into everything suspicious. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on Butler Winters and Professor Young for the next few days. I hope we can find a breakthrough in this case as soon as possible. <sighs> the situation is getting more complicated now. We don't know what will happen in the next few days. The situation is still changing, but we will continue our investigation. Our investigation already posed a threat to the killer. I'll pay more attention to Dr. Lee and Mr. J, who both have connection to the Zeng family. I don't think it will be easy for the killer to strike again. Don't worry, miss. There isn't a truth in this world that we can't find. Yeah, there is no riddle that Antwerx can't solve. Following the trail through the snow, you find the entrance to the labyrinth pavilion. Mr. Wing, are you there? Yes, are you alright? Yes, I didn't think we would be separated again. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll re 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 reunited with each other soon. Shara, I've got some movement in my on my ends that I'm going to check out. Stay put and wait here for me. Sure, I'll wait for you then. Be careful.
a notice on the table. The supervisor has been working at the villa for decades and witnessed its changes both big and small. The supervisor will take charge of the daily security work in the Labyrinth Pavilion. We seek the cooperation of everyone in the villa. Attempt number 2 As you head deeper into the labyrinth pavilion, you came across a corridor. The corridor splits off into two parts. After a short discussion, you decide to split up. Can you hear me, Sherera? I'm already in a new area. I mean too, Mr. Wing. There are lots of tables and chairs here. Looks like this is a banquet hall. Okay, I have a corridor with a lot of artifacts on display on my side. So we have to go through this corridor to get out of here? That seems highly likely. Stay safe and keep in contact. Alright. A pile of books and letters are scattered on the table. The following is the useful information. To serve the purpose of a banquet hall, this elegant room was specially built in the shape of a pentagram. In recent years, guest reception has been moved to the exterior areas. Maybe this place can be used to store artifacts. The northern corridor can be used as a decoy. A few ordinary decorations will suffice in hiding the mechanism. It is crucial that the process of modifying the mechanism is monitored. You are responsible for any damages in the bank hall. A bulletin board common in the mountain villa. There are a piece of paper pinned to it which looks like a notice. 
From today on, the banquet hall in the Labyrinth Pavilion will be closed for renovation. Move the available furniture out as soon as possible. In the meantime, the villa will place an additional part of the collection in the north hallway of the banquet hall. Warning, please do not approach the north hallway of the banquet hall during renovations. Violators will suffer the consequences. There are some words scribbled at the bottom of the bulletin board. Let me tell you, whenever I was moving the table a few days ago, I could hear the sound of an iron door opening and closing. Could it be that this place is haunted? I have a jade carving heirloom to repel evil. You guys need to be careful, more you. Idiot, it looks like you haven't seen the mechanism behind the labyrinth pavilion. The noise you heard must have been someone adjusting a new door mechanism. The door mechanism and switch won't be very far apart if you ask me, Shen Yong. This is the fourth item. After passing the corridor, you reach the central hall. It splits into yet another familiar fork in the route. As usual, you two decide to split up in your search. There are so many shelves of antiques. The Zeng family's collection is really bottomless. Shirara, there are many shelves of antiques here as well. Are we in a room soft with the same layout? We won't know for sure. Oh, I see patrolling stuff. Be careful, calm down. We'll deal with everything as it comes and we'll definitely make it out of here.
a pile of documents is scattered on the table. These seem to be personal files. The following is the useful information. Mo Yu, originally from Yu Chentan. Both parents went missing when he was 14. He is healthy and honest. These are the reasons for employment at the Mountain Villa. Shen Yong, originally from Yu Chentan. Bright since he was young and has an illness prone younger sister who went missing a few years ago. He returned to his hometown after his business in Sally's field. Introduced by a friend, he became a helper at the mountain villa. You finally reached the end of the Labyrinth Pavilion. Never in your wildest dreams would you have thought that it leads down to a wide underground space. You both follow along the corridor leading downwards. It takes a while before the path opens up into something wider. Who knew that there was another space under the basement? This must be the most important place in the Labyrinth Pavilion. Heart of the Heart Area tends to be more, the most dangerous. You'll prioritize your safety and find the exit first. Okay, let's continue looking for the exit then. A bulletin board common in the mountain villa. A notice is pinned to it. The security devices in the five collection rooms have been installed. The staff entrance will be closed in a few days. Please do not use the staff entrance unless under special circumstances. There are some words scribbled at the bottom of the bulletin board. Have to continue with patrols after returning to the collection room. I wish I could just stay and slack off in the staff hallway. Only an idiot like more you would like patrol duty. Come to think of it, I haven't seen more you in a while. If anyone knows where he went, please leave a comment. Shen Yong. Attempt number A relic introdu introduction. A pair of ancient jet pendants, one with complete and the other with incomplete carvings. 
However, if the jet pendants are combined, a marvelous sight will appear. The incomplete will be complete and four full carvings will appear on the combined piece. The introduction ends here, followed by lengthy annot annotation that seem to be pointing to something else. At first, a person may only walk down one path, but having a companion will open a new path for each other. A new path will offer new choices that will affect the direction in which everyone moves. Every decision will affect the final outcome. It's up to you whether or not you can see him again. Attempt number 23 
I hope we can leave the room successfully this time too. I'll be with you till we get out success successfully. Let's look for clues around here. Okay, let's inform each other if we find anything. Alright, I'll go deeper into this room to see if there are any clues. There are priceless treasures on the shelves which dazzles your eyes. There is a piece of paper inside. Taiji birth 2 modes. 2 modes birth 4 images. 4 images birth 8 trigrams and 8 trigrams is the mean love. It seems to be related to the theory in the book of changes. Among the many treasures, an old book appears quite out of place. You pick up the book and flip through it. 9 is an undivided trigram, also called Qian trigram, and 5 is the 5th trigram if counted from the bottom. The emperor is the heaven's son, righteous and at the corner. That's why he is at the supreme position of 9 and 5. 9 and 5 should be exalted number in ancient time. Why are they marked here? The things placed atop this table are quite strange. From left to right, there is the black chest piece, a white chest piece, a jet yin fish pendant, and a marble young fish pendant. Why put these things here? Is there any meaning to their order? Mr. Wing, I found a yin fish symbol on the table. Can it be a special mark? Maybe, are there any other clues near the mark? Let me see. Found it, it was in the jet basin. Shirara, what did you find? There is a wooden box buried in the jet basin and with a mechanical lock on it. If we open it, we can see what's hidden inside. The wooden box contains a yin fish pendant. It seems to be correspond to the mark on the table. Well, let me have a closer look. Huh? There is a 5 on its back. It's probably a clue. Okay, I already wrote it down. A good chain again. Are Gucci's on some sort of bargain sale in this villa? They are everywhere. Hold on, what's this? You bend down to inspect the Gucci carefully. There's an 8 trigrams pattern on it. And there are some tags near the pattern. Meditation methods of Laozi. Laozi reads. Standing in the room, I am at the center. Three on my left and seven on my right. Meditation methods of Laozi. Three left and seven right. Why does it sound familiar? Isn't this the formula of the nine palaces that we saw before? I still remember that five is at the center. What about other numbers? Let me think. This spotted plant is growing quite well. Oh, there is a mark of the young fish here. Is it a clue? You check the table carefully and find a wooden box in the potted pine. On the box, there is a familiar mechanical lock. Why would anyone hide anything in here? 
Forget it, I should unlock it first. The mechanical locks fall to the ground and you open the wooden box. A young fish pendant lies silently in the box with the number 9 on the back. What does this number mean? I'll write it down first. A 3x3 three three grid. On the cabinet door, there is a 3x3 grid with several words in it. It's a chart of the 9 palaces. Queen Palace is in the top right corner and Jan Palace is in the bottom left corner. Is it a clue? It seems like something is hidden in the cabinet but the, the door is locked. So I should unlock this run plate lock first. After unlocking the round plate, you open the cabinet. There are objects scattered all over. They look irrelevant, I should look elsewhere. There are some ornaments in the cabinet but they seem to be useless. There are some ornaments in the cabinet but they seem to be useless. A chessboard. Mr. Wing, you found something? I found a chessboard here. There is a 3x3 three three grid in the center formed by black and white chess pieces. Eight of the chess pieces are black and the only white piece is near the center. 3x3, three three, like a Sudoku square? Yes, so the position of this white chess piece must have some special meaning. A 3x3 three three grid with only one white chess piece. Can it be related to the nine palaces? Yes, we can start with that. Record the position of the white piece first and we can recall the content about the nine palaces together later. Shara, I found a chessboard here. There is a black chess piece black chess piece at the center. And there are several white chess pieces surrounding the black one forming a three by three grid. A single black spot dotting the, the midst of thick white? Exactly. However, this black chess piece might be put here for a reason. A black chess piece at the ch center and a 3x3 three three grid. I think it should be related to the 9 palaces. That 9 palaces chart associated with the 8 trigrams. Yes, the black and white chess pieces also mean yin and yang in the ancient times, so that's possible. I'll write it down first since it might be useful later. There is another coded lock on the door without any hint about the password. 
Let's sort out all our information, we might find something. First, the password should be a 4 digit number which means the order is fixed. Makes sense, let me think. Oh, right, the 4 things are that on that table. I remember the order is a black chess piece, a white chess piece, a jade yin fish pendant and a young fish pendant. In that case, we need to find the corresponding number for each object. Objects related to the numbers, I remember they are the yin and yang fish pendants. And the black and white chess pieces on the chessboard, so the password is... With a mechanical sound, the metal door slowly opens. Is this finally the exit? It's the correct key and it has opened the hidden room. This should be the last room in the area. The structure of this room may be co more complicated than the last. You have to be careful. Yeah, I feel the same too. You need to watch out too, Mr. Wing. Okay, let's set out then.
Item number two because I didn't get the last silk pouch pouches.
Hello. Eh, Miss Shara and Detective Pierce, why are you here? Ask about the golden bell bracelet. Bernard Young looks at you, your stunned face, and scratches his head in embarrassment. Sorry, I didn't have time to clean up. Leftover snacks are lying on the table, with clothes thrown over the chair, open suitcases stick up most of the floor. So, what did you want to see me about? You nod and take out the golden bell bracelet you found. The bell rings as you take it out. Bernard, do you know the eight characters of your horoscope? Before you can finish, Bernard Yan suddenly becomes all excited. This bracelet, where did you find it? His sudden reaction startles you and Luke. We found it at. Luke briefly explains what happened. I see. Sorry, I just got carried away. You don't know. This bracelet is mine. I've been looking for it for a long time. Eh, it's yours? Yeah, my grandfather had this bracelet made for me at the jewelry store when I was a month old. Take a look, there are the 8 characters of my horoscope inside. Janjin, Renwu, Guisi, Dingsi. You both inspected the bracelet after finding it and found the 8 characters of the horoscope. After calculating, the owner of this set of characters should be 20 years old. After reviewing the people in the villa, the one who fits the criteria the most is Bernard Young. That's why you both come to ask him. I see, you calculated the set of characters and found that I was within the each range. Can I get my stuff back now? Wait, one more question. How did this bracelet end up with the Zeng family? I don't know. The bracelet was stolen when I was in elementary school. My grandfather was upset for a long time. Is it a coincidence that a bracelet stolen many years ago found in the Zeng family villa or... Given the bizarre sequence of events that have taken place, the chance of this being a coincidence is rapidly diminishing. Sorry, this bracelet might have been involved in a theft. We need to keep it temporarily as evidence for the police. Why? Before you can explain, Bernard Young explodes with an anxiety. I already proved it's mine. It was a gift from my grandfather. Okay, I understand. If it's to cooperate, if it's to cooperate with the investigation, I guess it can't be helped. Well, you keep it from me then. Thank you for your cooperation. You you better take a good care of it. Yes, I promise. The scene in Ben Yuan's room takes both you and Marius by surprise. There are two vastly different styles in his room. One his, on his side, the few things are neatly arranged. 
On the other side, a variety of female clothes, accessories and cosmetics are scattered all over. Well, for a while, Marius and Ju don't know what to, what to do. Oh, I'm sorry, these were moved here by Ray C said that they couldn't fit in her room. Huh, you aren't staying together? We aren't. She said this room is too small for two people. You and Mary smile, not knowing how to answer to that. So, what did you two come to, come to see me about? When one seemed to detect the awkward atmosphere and changes the subject. Then Mary sticks out the longevity log that you both found. Does this longevity log belong to you? You both thought to try your log because Uji Ben Yuan is engraved on it. After all, there are guests at the villa with other motives. Yeah, that's my longevity log. Oh my god, I have searched for it for years, so it really was here. He is pleasantly surprised when you take out the longevity lock. It's really yours? Yeah, it's engraved with my name and some words. Oji Ben Yuan, right? Still absorbed in his surprise, he doesn't notice you and Marius looking at each other silently. You immediately understand what Marius meant means keenly picking up something strange that Ben Yuan had said. So what did you mean by it really was here? Ah, did I see that? Yes, you did. Oh, well, I found it now, so it doesn't matter. Actually, this longevity log is a love keepsake between me and Ray. Our parents arranged for us to get married when we were young. This longevity lock was given to me by Ray's parents. Ray has a matching one. But it's expensive so neither of us wears it during the week. We keep it at home. Then somehow the lock disappeared. Disappeared? Was it stolen? I thought so too. But nothing else was missing except this lock. And I didn't want Ray to find out so I didn't call the police. I had to look for it in a secret. Actually, I heard that the longevity lock was here at the Zeng family estate. So I thought I'd try my luck here. I didn't think it would really be here. At this moment, his emotions start to peak again. Oddly enough, after the lock disappeared, Ray and I would get into frequent fights. This must be a sign of sorts. With the lock back, Ray and I will definitely be able to make things work. Please give the lock back to me. Sorry, why has this log appeared here? The police might need to investigate further. We cannot return the log to you at this moment. Yeah, calm down. It's better for us to hold on to it until the police came. I promise to return it to you after the police have, have completed their investigation. Fine, but don't mention this to Ray. I've kept it from her for so long. He really loves her. As you and Marius are leaving, you notice Ben Yuan still sitting at the table with a silly smile on his face. Maybe he is imagining a better future with the one he loves.
Villa said Hong. Brother, how can you abandon me? What will I do with you gone? While wiping her tears away, Ashley Zhang rubs the corner of her clothes. Her eyes are swollen, probably from crying for so long. Ashley, don't call out to me. Don't try to be sincere here. How can you understand my feelings? She shakes off her hand, growing emotional. I don't need your pity. <laughs> my brother is the one who deserves your pity. So young and... She barely gets a few words out before she starts to cry again. <laughs> Samsung's death hit her heart. What can I do to comfort her? Coincidentally, you see a few candy wrappers on the table beside Ashley Zhang. Oh, that's it. I remember there was a candy here. Where is it? Small snacks and fruits have been served on the t small table. But something has happened so no one can sit back and enjoy the treats. Let's see if there's anything in the food basket. Walnut egg tart, deep cake, milk candy. Milk candy, I think she like it. Thinking of the candy wrapper you saw earlier, you believe your choice is correct. Villas at home. Brother! <laughs> Ashley Zhang is still crying as you walk over to her, gently patting her on the back. You again. I told you, I don't need your pity. <laughs> she was crying so hard that you can only shake your head. Don't cry. Your brother will be sad to see you down. Here, have some candy to make you feel better. You put the milk candy in her hand. She stops crying, perhaps at the mention of her brother, or maybe because of the candy. Ashley Zhang unwraps the milk candy and pops it into her mouth. Shortly after, she starts crying again. Brother, do you remember when we were young? You would always bring me candy when I cried, fruit flavored and make flavored. Every time you would say, Ashley is a good girl, Ashley is strong, I say the candy and not cry. Now that you're gone, who will give me candy? <gasps> Ashley, I believe your brother will continue to protect you from above. Take good care of yourself and don't let him worry about you, okay? You don't know if it was if it's what you said or the candy. Ashley Zhang gradually calms down and stops cheering up. She just lowers her head and still choking over her words. Thank you. And thank you for the candy. My brother wouldn't want to see me cry. Yes, are you feeling better now? Yes. Ashley Zhang nods at you, trying to force a smile.
good. You can rest here for a while. Villa Hall. Miss Chow, do you remember the last step? Miss Chow? Miss Chow? Hey, why are you hitting me? I'm not done talking to the spirits yet. She was ignoring me. I thought she was suffering from hysteria, but I was overthinking it. You said there is one last step to worshipping the snow beast. Yes, that's right. I was asking the spirits about it. What spirits? Seeing the vigor behind Jessie Chow's words, you can't bear to shatter her fantasy. Did you ask them about it? I did, but I didn't have time to ask them my fortunes for the year. <sighs> the spirits see the snow beast feels better after receiving our offerings. But whether we can make it down to the mountain depends on the last step. What's the last step? Lady Cheng Niu has a favorite song. If Lady Cheng Niu likes it, then the snow bees will too. When Lady Cheng Niu hums the song, the snow bees will be happy. Sometimes it will fly through the air and bring snow to the world. It is said that if you are lucky enough to see this snow, it will bring you good luck. What does this song have to do with the last step? Hey, I'm not done, Chad. Don't interrupt me. So you just have to find the musical score to the song and we can play it for the snobbies. Musical score? Does it really exist? Miss Chow, what's the name of the musical score? I can't remember the exact name. Go, look for it. I'll know it when I see it. So she wasn't able to remember after all. But how would Miss Chow recognize it? Things are getting unbelievable. Wait for me here. I'll go look for it. Sure, hurry back. I already look at the bookshelf on the right. Let's check out on the left side. These characters look like special ancient characters. I can't make it make out any of it. But it's clear that this page is the musical score. I guess I'll take my chances. The song there's a something that looks like the word song in the title. It should be this one, right? After choosing one, that one looks to be the right one too. It's hard to choose. Why don't I show everything to Miss Chow? Villa Hall when you return to the hall, Cassie Chow is eagerly waiting for you. Did you find the musical score? I grabbed a few musical sheets. Can you see if any of them are right? You unfold several ancient books one by one in front of Cassie Chow, who flips through them over and over. As expected of Lady Ching Niu, her way of passing down the song through generations is unique. Huh? What do you mean? Ahem, <clears throat> all three are the musical score of the song, but accurately speaking, part of the song is contained in each. The three together make a complete Lady Ching Nu song. Miss Chow, where did she learn to read music scores like this? 
But based on what she said, did I stumble upon it by accident? Wait, Miss Chow, did you only just remember the name of the song? <sighs> my memory, my memory isn't what it used to be. Thanks anyway, city girl. I guess you were an all spoiled prize after all. I'm glad to help, Miss Chow. Are you ready to sing the song to the snow bees now? At the mention of the snow bees, Kesi Chow shows even greater interest. Yes, wait a moment. After a while, Kesi Chow starts to sing, accompanied by an elegant dance. As she sings, your thoughts can't help but drift away. You seem to see a goddess singing in the snow. Which branch is better? How about this one? Miss Girl stares at the peach tree, mumbling to herself. Then she walks towards the peach blossom tree as if wanting to pick a branch from the tree. Miss Girl! Oh hey, you scared me. I didn't hear you approach at all. Before you can explain, Miss Girl wills for you to leave. Well, maybe, don't bother me. It seems like Miss Girl has already made up her mind to pick the peach blossom branch. Miss Girl, this peach blossom tree has been around for a thousand years. You can't go picking. Nonsense, you think I don't know that? It's precisely because it's the thousand year peach blossom tree that I... Hey, wait, are you trying to trick me? Miss Girl, I'm not trying to trick you. I I just want to help you. It must be hard for you to do this alone. I just want to help you. You say a few nice words to Miss Girl. She stops moving her arms long enough to inspect your face carefully. Hmm, it's great to be young. Look at your face, no wrinkles. Well, you're young and pretty. You don't need what I'm looking for. The more you listen to Miss Girl, the more confused you become. Since you want to help me, I'll tell you the truth. I came here to find the Elixir of Eternal Youth. The Elixir of Eternal Youth? Shh, quiet down. Don't draw attention to yourself. Oh, the Zong family had an elixir like that. It's an old secret recipe, but who normally has the chance to enter the Zong estate if it wasn't for the auction? <clears throat> We're going off topic. The secret recipe requires branches from the peach blossom tree, so I was choosing one. How can I protect the peach blossom tree? You ponder for a moment before coming up with an idea to stop Miss Girl from destroying the thousand-year-old peach blossom tree. Miss Girl, let me get the branch for you. Look at the surrounding fence. The peach blossom is tall as well. I'm afraid you're, you can't maneuver around it all that easily. You're right. I'll leave it to you then. Can you also bring me a porcelain bowl? While you're at it, I can move on to the other things. A porcelain bowl? Yes, just get me one. I'll tell you more about it at, about the elixir when you do. Okay, I'll be back soon. Where did I see a porcelain bowl? I remember seeing one. 
I think it was here. You scan the room. Sure enough, on the table of small snacks and fruits, there are several white porcelain bowls for guests to use. Now that the missing porcelain bowl issue is solved, Nick is plucking a branch from the peach blossom tree. What an anomalous tree! Are the red suit tied to the tree wishes that people have left? Now, not, now is not the time to think about it. I need to look for any branches that have been blown off. Instead of picking a branch, I can choose one that has fallen off the naturally. That way, the peach blossom tree won't get damaged. You look up at the tree, at the wind blowing through its branches and fluttering red sock. The faint sound it makes is almost like a whisper. You search under the trees and find some suitable branches under the snow. That's everything. Time to find Miss Girl. Miss Girl, I got everything you ask. Put it here. I'll be ready soon. Miss Girl is crouched in the corner with her back to you. A long time passes before she stops and turns around. She is holding a ball of something black in her hand, but which looks like mud, but also like a ball of traditional herbal med herbal medicine. Whew, I'm exhausted, but it paid off. I finally found it. Miss Girl, is that the elixir? Give me the bowl and the branches. Miss Girl ignores your questions, staring only at the porcelain bowl and peach blossom branches in your hands. You hand the things over to Miss Girl, who expertly places the mud into a bowl, mixing with a branch from the peach blossom tree. Miss Girl, what are you doing? Making medicine, can't you see? Miss Girl seems to have forgotten all about her promise to tell you about the Alistair. Miss Girl, now that I've gotten everything you needed, you promised to tell me about the Alistair. Miss Girl is shocked when you mention her promise. You still remember? You youngsters sure have good memories. Fine, fine, I won't hide it from you because I already found it. Her hands move as she speaks. The Zeng family's elixir of eternal youth was a secret recipe used by imperial concubines in ancient times. The recipe needed steel, snow, mud, chill air and the branches of a thousand-year-old peach tree brewed for an hour. They add purified water, then add purified water, apricot flowers, and various spices before stirring to create the elixir. Apply it to your face, and your wrinkles will disappear. Miss Girl's face light up at the thought of her irritating wrinkles disappearing soon. Where did Miss Girl find this secret recipe? According to the recipe, this elixir can only be prepared in the winter. Yes, only when it's snowing and the timing has to be perfect. If it wasn't for the auction, I wouldn't have had the chance. The remaining steps. I've already made all the preparations, so I won't bother you anymore. Looking at the black elixir, you can't help but think it's something similar to a volcanic mud mask. Maybe there's something to this recipe? I hope the Zeng family secret recipe works. That's none of your concern, just leave. Miss Girl's tone makes it clear that she doesn't want you around any longer. She's probably afraid that you'll learn to how to make the elixir of eternal youth.
It's good, I'll take my leave now. When you are far away, Miss Girl is still in the yard, constantly stirring the mud in her hands. 